As the effects of COVID-19 continue to put pressure on the South African economy, National Treasury has confirmed that it will be taking up a loan facility from the New Development Bank, previously referred to as the BRICS Bank. Now, the BRICS Bank is a bank made up of the BRICS countries that you will know are made up of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Each country is entitled to $2 billion a year. So right now, South Africa has opted to take its $1 billion, which the current exchange rate is about 19 billion Rand. 19 billion Rand is not a lot when you think about it in the greater context of the national budget right now given some of the economic projections that have been given out there which continue to go downwards it just sounds as if this might be the first of a number of different loans now the minister of finance has indicated that they may look to the imf or the world bank to actually take on other loans in general it's not something that they really want to do because south africa's debt to gdp ratio is actually quite high and increasing that further impacts the economy the BRICS Bank, when it was originally developed, was for infrastructure projects. But because of the crisis and how it's impacting the global economy, the bank took a decision that it will give aid to its member countries to actually fight or to actually help to stimulate the economies when the recovery begins, whenever that is. Up to this point, the National Treasury has not been forthcoming with what the terms and conditions would be around uh, this particular loan. What is clear though is that because the New Development Bank has such a good credit rating on its own, in fact actually higher than member countries like China, it can actually borrow money from other institutions at lower interest rates. The RAND has been weakening and if the RAND weakness continues then it means that over time South Africa may have to pay back more money in RANDs, which is an inherent risk. But some economists are saying that this is not that big of a risk simply because South Africa's foreign denominated loans only account for about 10% of the national debt. On the whole, it remains to be seen what the full impact will be of this loan from the New Development Bank. What is certain is the uncertainty, simply because no one knows if the government will not um, extend the period of lockdown, you know, further adding to the possible contraction in the economy. And it's also uncertain whether other countries will come out of their periods of lockdown at the same time as South Africa, because a lot of this is dependent on not only South Africa coming out of lockdown and entering recovery, but the global economy as well.